Hey, I'm Jordan from Waypoint, and in this tutorial, we're going to build this email template from scratch using Waypoint's Visual Template Builder. To get started, let's head over to the Waypoint dashboard and create a new template within my workspace. So we'll head to the templates here, create new, and we'll start with a blank template. From here, we'll start by adding a subject line, and then uh, we'll also add a pre-header here as well. I always like to start with static content, and then we'll later replace that with dynamic content. Let's now switch over to the Styles tab, and let's paste in some colors that match our brand. So we'll set the email backdrop. We'll grab text color. We'll change the font stack to rounded sans. And we'll set the link color as well. Great, now we're all set to start piecing together the building blocks for our templates. Let's go ahead and add our logo. You can do that by adding, clicking the Add menu here and clicking on one of the blocks. In this case, we'll start with the image. We'll upload an image for our logo. We could set the alt text, maybe it's Popsy, and then the click through URL as well. And then we can do some styling um, for spacing and alignment. Let's continue here. We'll add um, a description. And then we'll add an image. And we'll just keep going here. We'll add the some columns um, for the download links. Let's add. App Store. And Google Play. And let's do some quick alignment here. And then we'll add one more. All right, that is looking great. We can do some minor adjustments here to kind of clean up some of the spacing. Perfect, that looks great. Uh, and the best part about it is that all of these blocks are designed to work well both on desktop and mobile devices as well as all popular email clients. So if we uh, preview this, we can see how it looks like on desktop, and we can also flip uh, to see how it looks like on mobile as well. Uh, if you've ever built HTML email templates in the past, you know how tedious it can be to make this work across all um, popular email clients and devices. Luckily, Waypoint makes this very easy for us. To wrap up, let's set up our dynamic variables and then run a test. Um, so in this case, we want to replace the name uh, here with data that we pass in through the API. Uh, to do this, we'll want to stub data that tells a template what to expect when it's triggered. So let's flip over to the Data tab, and let's give it some um, data. Since this is a very simple email, we'll use a very basic object like this one. We have a user uh, with a display name of Anna, and we'll let's actually set this to um, Jordan here so that we can see it uh, updating as we as we go through the static content. All right, now we can simply click into this block and change the static content with dynamic variables uh, by referencing our data object. So in this case, we have uh, a name here that we want to turn into a dynamic variable. So we can just reference this with user dot display name that matches the object uh, that we had set. And you can see that it immediately uh, sets that to um, the data that we have set in the data tab. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the uh, pre-header here. And you can see that it updates in the preview. And now when we go to the data and we reference, let's say, a different name, you can see that they're both changing at the same time. We won't get into triggering templates from an API in this video, but I'll link to another video 
uh, and the API docs in the description below. Uh, for now, let's just change the name of this template to share app store links. And let's go ahead and switch to the data tab or the general tab and send a test. This is going to send a test to myself. Let's go ahead and view this here um, and see uh, from here, we can have a full activity log of the email message that was delivered uh, with a full timeline of events. You can see that it was created, processed, sent, and delivered. Uh, all of the metadata from that message, the full HTML, the HTML source, and the template data. This is the data that matches on the data tab that we had set. If you had sent it through an API, this would match the data that you had passed uh, through the API call. So if we switch to the email client, we can actually see the email that was delivered, uh, including the test data that we had passed in. Uh, and if we click a link on the email and then go back to the activity page, we can see the open and click events in the timeline. Well, I hope that's been a helpful introduction on the basic components of Waypoint's template builder. If you haven't already, be sure to head to usewaypoint.com and create a free trial account and start integrating emails into your application in minutes.